Shout out to all my subscribers holding it down and smash that like button as well. Guillermo Ochoacal Rigondeau uh, heading into his biggest fight of his career against probably the, yeah, what would be considered to be the toughest opponent of his career, Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, also a two time gold medalist and is on an impressive winning streak. Uh, with the WBO title at 130 pounds. Now the interesting part about this is a lack of promotion by Bob Arum. Bob Arum of top rank who promotes Vasil Lomachenko has not been actively promoting this fight. Not at all. The ticket sales have done really well early on. You know, they chose the theater at Madison Square Garden, not the big room. The theater, that's the same venue that um, Sergey Kovalev just fought. So it's gonna be this tight knit electric atmosphere. And, you know, Bob Arum really needs to step it up. I'm shocked that he's not really doing anything with such an anticipated fight. And shout out to the boxing voice because they did an interview with Bob Arum. And Bob Arum basically admitted that, you know what? We're not gonna do a press conference until the week before the fight, uh, point blank period. Uh, and press conferences are overrated. We, we don't need them. You know, it's a stupid idea. That's what Bob Arum was telling us. Press, oh my God, press conference. D didn't you guys have a press conference for uh, Vasil Lomachenko versus uh, Miguel Mariaga? on ESPN. Didn't you have a press conference for that? Bought and paid, paid for by top rank, yeah. I mean, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Did you have a press conference for Nicholas Walters versus Vasil Lomachenko on HBO? Yeah, absolutely. Like, what's there to miss? Give the media a chance to show up and cover the fight. You know? It's very simple. Let's see these two fighters face to face. Is is there gonna be a, a really big size disparity? You know, that's what we want to see, and we also want to see, you know, well, what they have to say. You know, that's it's a prime opportunity to promote the fight, and Bob Arum's just being cheap right now. And it's hard to say why. Uh, you know, I'm sure. There's a lot of money to be made uh, off of this fight, so it, it's incredible to me how um, how Bob Arum is just letting uh, letting the promotion uh, slip away, and he's just letting it. He he, he did say that um, basically we're in a new uh, new age of uh, promoting boxing, and uh, and you know he's basically leaving up to social media to promote the fight. That's what he's doing. Except Top Rank isn't isn't that big on social media. They're not that big. They they put a couple of promo packages, a couple of you know one minute video clips for Lomachenko and Rigandau. That's all I've seen so far. And you know he got he got asked you know where's the promotion and, and Bob Arum just got pissed off at, at fucking Ness so. So Ness just fucking he went on to the next fight. So it, it, Bob Arum, uh, you know, shame on this man. He's had one of the best fighters, pound for pound, under his stable, Guillermo Rigondeau, uh, for the better part of his career. And he hasn't he hasn't set him up in any any great fights except for that Nuno Daner fight. And now he's coming with Rock Nation to take the heat away from Lomachenko. And you know what, Bob Arum, the only thing I'll give him credit for is making this fight happen. 
Because I'm sure part of him wants to get that, that bit of revenge on Rigandau for beating his guy, Anita Donaire. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Bob Arum not really promoting this fight. Uh, he said there will be a press conference, but that will be uh, the week before the fight. Let me know what you guys think, E King Fight News. Subscribe to the channel as always. It is what it is, guys. Peace out.